What's up, Cog Squad? Let's get started back on this coop. Previously on the Cog Blog. We are Jet's Uber today, and we're gonna take Jet down here to the creek for the very first time. Now this is Peaches. You have to show her the utmost respect. She's the farm boss, she's the farm manager. So, you know, whatever she says goes, okay? What is happening, y'all? This is Jason over here at Cock Hill Farm, and in today's video, we're gonna get started back on that chicken coop, and we're gonna go pick some figs and try to do something with them boogers. Y'all, come on. Are y'all, y'all not gonna let me talk? Come on, please. Remember the video, it was last week, I think, but we checked the figs at a friend of ours house. They are ready. We're gonna go pick those figs. Um, Peaches is gonna take the day off today. So, yeah, I heard her. <laughs> she talks every time I talk to her. And we're gonna grab the wood we need to work on the coop today. You ready to go, Gidget? Yes, sir. Let's ride. We gotta stop and get our baskets. Put the um, rabbit food in. And put the rabbit food in. Somebody's happy that their tractor's fixed. We're ready to go. We ready, Gidget? We're ready. When we were in the market shopping for a new truck, Mrs. Cockill insisted it have a bench seat. And I think she knew that she was getting this puppy. <laughs> Cause otherwise he would have nowhere to sit up here. We are almost here. These are lemon figs. We think that's what they're called. They're yellow. They could be. There's a million variety of figs. But we remember these being called lemon figs. And hopefully it's a mess of them because it was pretty loaded last week. It's hard to tell on lemon figs compared to like a brown turkey. You know when they're right. These are got a green tint to them so it's kind of tough. To touch on them. It's, it's loaded but it's got a ton of unripe ones. That's kind of how it was last week though. And you can see the birds have been tearing them up. We might just have to do something besides the preserves. Yeah, we could make like a fig cake. Do you remember how many a cake calls for? Not as many as we were hoping for, but... Maybe. Maybe enough for a cake, though. Maybe Carl will be happy. Blue jay feather. <laughs> we'll do something with them. Off we go. No need letting them go to waste. If all else, we'll eat them. <laughs> if y'all wondering about this apron, this is a roux apron. That's what it's called, name brand, like a kangaroo. I actually got it from the homestead box. Got everything, I think we're good. All right, let's go get our wood. One thing we like to do is cruise the neighborhoods. That have lots of pine trees. That have lots of pine trees and get their pine straw. They put it on the side of the road for the city to pick it up and why let it go to waste? That's right. We'll we use have it. trees that it needs to go around. I was wondering if it was time for Yeah, it's starting to fall. Pine straw to be falling. Well, they didn't have one by eights but they I mean uh one by four by eights but they did have ten foots uh the only other option we had was to drive out of town but it, I would have saved a whopping four dollars and 28 cents so we got the ten foots I don't know about where y'all live right now but here in central Alabama these love bugs have been absolutely I mean it's almost like a plague I mean they are everywhere and this is going on week two of them so what 
what we got going on is we're going to try to strip this roof. You know, we got going this way. Then we're going to run one by fours this way. And that'll give us a good foundation to screw the metal down to. We got some two by fours we're going to run across here where the seams are and get that squared away. And then we're going to run two by fours across the top in between here to give us a good foundation to staple the metal to or the, um, the fencing. Let me show you what we got. We didn't want, you know, a super small hole like hardware cloth, but we also didn't want a big one either. Mrs. Cockhill did a little bit of research and found out that, that Martha Stewart used a one inch by two inch wire on her chicken coop. So that's what we're going with with ours. And it's a, and it's a thick gauge. So you don't have to worry about any type of predator chewing through it or anything like that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you like my ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> do I need to come up there uh -uh, okay. or you just want me to hold you if you don't fall you gotta tell me what good job I did <laughs> if you do fall just don't say nothing just don't drop that drill on my head what you think mm -hmm. looking like a door it's all lightning so just do it flush right Well, well, we've run out of daylight for the day, so we're gonna finish this up tomorrow. Good morning, Peaches. What's up, girl? Huh? How are you doing this morning? Oh, that feels good, don't it? Right there. Yeah. Right there. Goodness gracious. Let's go work on the coop, Peaches. Back on the coop, man. We're going to continue putting the studs right through here to give us a good foundation to, to staple our wire to. We, um, we pretty much got it good and stripped out. We got it ready for the wire. We're pretty sure we got it ready for the wire. And so we're fixing to try to put the wire on. Try. Try. We ordered two rolls and they were shipped at the same time, but one of them didn't arrive with the other one. So we only have one roll, one which roll. is 25 foot. So we can get... So we think all we can do is the sides. Yeah. And we forgot when we were a... Uh, two by six short going this way and so we couldn't finish stripping it out so we're going to go ahead and try this wire and see how that goes and if we have to then we'll maybe ride to town and get that two by six and we can finish stripping it out and my plan is is to try to use my staple gun that air shoots stapler. air stapler that'll shoot this pretty big staple for the wire should be better than us trying to nail it yeah if this doesn't work then we can hand nail it I just thought this would be faster. Hmm. I actually got this to make bee boxes with. And that's what I used to put my bee boxes together, and it worked great. Speaking of bees, we got a call from Tanya at Hidden Valley Honey. They're the people that got our bees, and she called Mrs. Cockhill and told her the bees are doing fabulous. They had a lot of honey in the boxes, and she was going to add another super. But gotcha. She said they look good. Awesome, she, awesome. Um, she did... Do, put new beetle traps in just to try to keep any beetles away and put some powdered sugar on them and for she a did hive a powder powder for sugar mites. treatment to try to get them through the winter so we're so happy that the bees are doing awesome let's say we start on this one uh-huh this first one yeah and your ladder's gonna be on uneven ground yeah we bought 24 inch wide and we want to do it like this and then we're going to like strip it out right here. And then we can get it a lot tighter this way instead of going this way. At least that's just our plan. That fits perfect, bro. But that's why I wanted the two foot because it's two foot centers. Yeah. That looks awesome. I got you, ladder. I don't let that happen to my man. Baby need a daddy. 
Beats, uh, Beats trying to hand it. But I do think that we'll have to pull it a little bit. Maybe go three rows and then three rows on the other side. Okay. What do you think? That'll work. Oh, yeah. Now, look. I had live in here. Oh, so yeah, good. baby. That looks good. Yeah, baby. And a raccoon can't get through that. And Martha approves. Yeah. Martha approves. Oh, Jason, I like it. I'm glad we went with that wire. I yeah, think it looks too. way better than chicken wire or hardware fall. I agree. And it really wasn't that expensive. You got it off eBay, right? I got it off eBay, and it was like forty-five dollars for to do the whole coop. Who gets so excited over some wire <laughs> when you're this far along? It. Who gets excited over wire? We get excited over. Wire. Oh yes, it looks really good. All right, now I'm out of paper. I'm gonna go ahead and get a different angle. Oh yeah. One side down. Side number two done. So, one big side to go. And I must say, the wire turned out really, really nice. Thanks, Martha. We got to finish the wire in the front. We're waiting on another roll of wire, which, you know, we told you earlier that it's delayed. And, of course, like I said, we forgot a 2x6 over here, so we couldn't finish stripping it out. But, big progress this week. That's right. Next weekend, we will definitely get the roof put on. We'll finish, you know, finish stripping it out, get the roof put on, and finish putting the wire in. And finish putting the wire in. So that'll be two Maybe huge days. Maybe build a door. Maybe wire it. We're also talking about possibly, I don't know when, but putting a... Monkeys? Getting some monkeys to put in here and not put chickens <laughs> in here. <laughs> but no, probably putting a porch on here. You know, this can be shaded. You can see them right now. They are just found this little bit of shade over here. Yeah, we want to try to keep from feeding them any inside. So just think, nesting and sleeping. I think if we had a porch, if it was raining. Right. We or, can hang the waterers in here. We can hang the we feeders can hang under the porch. from here. Yeah. Feed them. All. I mean, just, just eight foot. I like the wire a lot. You know, the goats say it's 3.30 and that's what time they eat every day. That's right. Thank God to hop off and go feed them. Yeah. We split our goat feed up twice a day. We don't give them the whole amount. We give half of it in the mornings and the other half in the evenings. I'm not quite for sure how we do it that way, but that's how we do it. <laughs> I think Terry told us to do that. Terry at Old South Goat Farm, who's a Nigerian dwarf expert. Well, it's cool enough outside. We may make a fig pie, fig cake. Fig pie. Fig cake. Chips and memories, coffee and Omega cookies, they make me feel at home. Father, brother, mother, dear, you're so far, but feel right here, no matter how far I go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there's love inside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there's love inside. Trash, or how's a team, and how's a dad, and how some things just never.